day an asteroid could destroy Earth, or aliens could attack, or climate change could end us, or a nuclear war, the human race must become multi-planetary. That is the only way for the human species to survive. You might think I'm kidding. You might think these aren't real threats. So let's talk about asteroids for a minute. According to Gonzalo Tancredi, an astronomer at a university in Uruguay, 70 meteors hit Earth every day. That's a lot. <laughs> Most are very small and inconsequential and hit the ocean. But in 2013, an asteroid hit Russia. The blast caused by the meteor's airburst caused extensive ground damage over 100 kilometers wide. 1,491 people sought medical attention. Asteroids really do hit the planet. 17 every day. In 2029, an asteroid named Apophis will pass dangerously close to Earth. Apophis has a diameter of 370 meters, which is about three and a half football fields. That is 15 times bigger than the asteroid that killed all of the dinosaurs, much tougher than we are. In 2004, NASA cited a chance of up to 2.7% that Apophis would hit Earth in 2029. Additional observations made them decide that Apophis would not hit Earth. But there are still eight years for them to change their mind again. Asteroids are real threats. Anytime Earth can be destroyed by one, but there are many other problems for us to worry about. The climate on Earth is always warming and cooling. Any day, Earth could cool or warm to such a degree that it becomes uninhabitable. Aliens are a real threat. We make assumptions every day that we are the only living thing in our universe. Even though we don't know if we're alone. Plenty of creepy things happen, like UFOs flying around. Anytime aliens could land here, and if they have the technology to get to our planet and we don't have the technology to get to theirs or even know they existed, they could make, they could enslave us all or make us go extinct. Bam, we're done. But we don't even need an asteroid, aliens, climate change to make Earth uninhabitable. We could, there could be nuclear war. We could blow up the planet ourselves. We, or we could make so much nuclear pollution from the explosions that Earth, we slowly just die from the pollution, like it happened at Nagasaki. If we were multiplanetary, if we settled Mars, if an asteroid, aliens, climate change, or something else was ending Earth, it would not end the human race. Okay, those are all the scary reasons we need to get to Mars. But there are exciting reasons we need to get to Mars too. For example, the goal to be multiplanetary could, could finally bring peace to Earth and could unite the human race if we focused on getting to Mars. All humans would be too busy and too excited and everyone on Earth would have to work together so everyone would be too busy and excited to <laughs> and kill people. Also, if we were multiplanetary, it would solve the problem of overpopulation. I don't know if the world is overpopulated, but if it is, that problem would be solved with all the new space we would acquire on Mars. You're welcome. <laughs> the best part of being multiplanetary is... The technology we would invent to settle Mars would change our lives. Right now, going to space is super hard. 568 people out of 7 billion 000 people have ever been there. But in order to get to Mars, we would have to invent new technology, like antimatter energy to power spaceships. And if we invented antimatter energy, we could build floating cities. We could find Atlantis. We could build flying cars. 
Guys, are you excited about that? Lastly, if we do settle Mars, we could solve many of our problems on Earth with the resources we find there. In his book, Mars, geophysicist Dr. Hugh Kiefer states that Mars is rich in chromium, iron, titanium, aluminum, iron, titanium, chromium, magnesium, and we can assume that because of all the volcanoes on the surface of Mars, that below the surface, we can discover gold, diamonds, emeralds, sapphires, rubies. You'll be rich if you get there first. Confucius said, dig the well before you are thirsty. I agree. We need to take the initiative now to preserve the human race for many generations to come. Establishing a presence on Mars is the first critical step in having a backup plan in the event of many different issues threatening life on Earth. And just trying to get there would change life on Earth for the better.